Hey, Paxter. Say hi to everybody. Say hi. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Charlotte. I am the trauma informed teacher. I post teacher lifestyle teaching tips and teacher self care ideas twice weekly. So, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. I am sitting in the car waiting on Joe. He went to get us some sandwiches. We are at our weekend job and it's our lunch break. We're kind of waiting on some of our houses to be ready for inspection. So we have a little natural break here. I did not get to um, talk much yesterday. I did get some clips of my work, but I was super busy all day long, just trying to hammer out some of the details that I need to get done in my classroom. I'm gonna go ahead and share that with you. I didn't get everything done that I planned on getting done because um, they came on the intercom like early afternoon and said that the building would be closing at three and I was planning on staying until like five o'clock. Um, so I had to leave, which means that I will come in early. And also we brought home the bookcase that needs painted because I just got totally distracted and busy with the other things that I was doing and I didn't get around to it. But I will show you what I got done. I got a lot done. And as long as my bookcase is dry and ready for me to set up my library on Monday, um, I should be in pretty good shape. So let's go ahead and get into it. I've had to adjust my front of the room teaching setup a little bit this year because I no longer have the ViewSonic board or a smart board, um, but I do have the capability of casting and I guess there's a writing function that I can use um, that will connect and um, allow me to um, use the stylus to do some of my note taking up on the monitor up there. But in the meantime, while I'm getting used to it, since I haven't done that in so many years, I want to make sure that I leave some room for um, writing on the board. I didn't really write on the board very much last year with a ViewSonic board. I always use the writing function to present that information. And then I could also keep that as notes. So I'm going to leave this left side open as much as I can. And then the center section, I'm going to put up some posters that go with our phonics curriculum. We're using Letterland. And on the right side, I think I'm going to do my um, calendar. So that's what I'm getting ready to set up right now. I also need a little bit of space at the top um, on the left for my objectives, my um, I can statements, so the students know what to expect for the day. These Letterland posters were root, prefix, and suffix posters, and they're just a little bit too wide um, to fit right in the center without going over my border. So I decided to try them um, staggered on each side to see if I liked it, but you'll see that later on I decide that I want to change it a little bit because it just seemed like it was too far apart and I was wasting space in between the posters. Here it is going over my border on the sides, but I think it looked a lot better. that I'm going to be putting up here do not go with our Letterland curriculum, but they are just a really good reference for students. I think so. Okay. And I, I used them, but I did not point to them as much as I pointed to the Letterland, the Letterland stuff. Yeah. And, you know, they, those were made to be used. Yeah. Part of the lesson. Did you use a... Um, an easel for your pocket chart or how did you do that? I didn't so I had it on my board. I have a bigger board than you do. Okay. Um, so I had it on like a section of my board but an easel would also work out if you can possibly 
I'm wondering if I can't like get some up easy up hooks over Ooh, yeah, there. Yeah, just put it right there because I'm going to be. Yeah, you can use some of it right there. yeah, that's what I think because that wall I don't really have a lot planned for and the back behind my desk I want to do personal things. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But yeah, so I, I just put it on the board just because we're like, we talked as a team and we're like, oh yeah, but like, I mean, it's really whatever you want to do. Okay. The team doesn't care. Yeah. I just want to make sure. They are also. They are very chill. Yeah, that's good. I like that. I need a chill team. <laughs> and that's why I think base 10 and everything is wonderful. Yeah. Because as a teacher, I can show you how this actually applies to real life. Yeah. So. Yeah, I think sometimes some of the, the people that struggle in math make the best elementary teachers. I mean, probably older, you know, too, but especially with little kids explaining it, breaking it down. Yeah. Because it's like, that's how, I think I'm a, when I know my content really well for the grade level that I'm in, then I'm a pretty good math teacher because it was hard for me when I was a kid. Yeah. I think I'm going to end up being a better math teacher than a math teacher. Really? Just because uh, math was harder for me. Yeah. And I'm going to be like, hey, this is like. So it's still like fresh for me. I'm still like learning things about it. So I'm like, yeah. hey, this is how it works for me. And if you're struggling, have you thought about this? Yeah, have you tried this idea? Yeah, and so that, and that's why I say that. Like, I personally enjoy reading. Yeah. Like, the deeper you get into reading, I still enjoy it. The deeper you get into math, I'm like, nah, man, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> I enjoy the non pressure stuff. Yeah. So. Well, trust me, I don't enjoy all the stuff that I have to do right now. <laughs> yeah. But I will hopefully, you know, one day it'll pay off with all the oh. work that I've done to get ready. One day. Oh, yeah, and that's something. Yeah. I'm struggling to figure out how I'm going to do my writing center because um, with my small group table, mm -hmm. Um, my desks are taking up a little bit more room than I wanted them to and I wanted to do my writing center back here in front of those um, that cabinet mm -hmm. but if I move this back over here when I get my like long skinny tables that are going up there then I think that there won't be enough room for lining up oh, yeah. so I'm like trying to figure that part out right but I got some time. It doesn't all have to, like, it just needs to look decent for our open house, and then I can figure the rest out later. Really? Like, some, I mean, you want your kids to feel invited, but uh, so much of it is, like, setting the standard for people at open house. And, like, oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it takes a while to teach the, um, the stations anyway, the expectations, so... Mm -hmm. But we'll see, like once we start lining up, once I get kids in here and we start moving around the room, I might have an idea. Oh yeah. Or I might just have to do writing center at the tables because I can do that too. Like my reading station will be at the tables. My writing station could be at the tables. And then this will be like a library area. Cause I do like a comprehension thing and then I do like a library, you know? Yeah. Station. And then um, the back, I call it my star station. It's going to be back there against that bulletin board when I get my long skinny tables. Yeah, yeah. Um, that is like a project area and I just kind of throw in whatever we need to work on. Could be something that we started in reading, could be something we started in science. Um, or social studies even if they needed extra time to work on something. So that'll be back there. Oh, yeah. And that way I can, um, what I usually do for reading is I pull those kids to my table and work with them for a while. And uh -huh. then they work independently for a while too. So since it's, it can be right there, that way it's close by. Yeah. And I don't have to worry about their chairs being in the way of the people that are sitting at the table because it's the same kids. That's fine. So... That's my thinking right now. We'll see if it actually pans out that way once kids are in the room. I always feel like I think I have more space than I actually do. Yeah, I mean, this room feels as long, but it's not deep. Yeah. So it's, I mean, yeah. I, I was fortunate to have, well, not fortunate, I had a really big class for my first year out here. Yeah, you're like, I can't do that anymore. 
I see they got your AC running, right? Yes, thank the Lord. They really had to fix it before open house. I don't see how it could have been like that. No. Parents uh, would have not been happy. No, it, it would have felt just... Uh, I struggled with this bulletin board going back and forth about what I was going to use it for. Originally, I was going to break this board into three sections and put my calendar on the left hand side, but I just decided with the way that I had my classroom set up that it wasn't going to be very um, practical when my students needed to look at the calendar if we were on the floor because there are um, separation bookcases for my library corner that would possibly block some of my students views so instead I decided to make it an interactive reading bulletin board I got this idea off Pinterest where I had seen other teachers um, do s'mores bulletin boards which totally goes with my camping theme um, and then I kind of have developed my own little twist on it so I'm putting up um, the title and then book jackets along the sides both sides of the bulletin board and I'm going to be able to switch out these book jackets throughout the year um, my idea is that I will do book talks to get kids interested in different genres of books and get them reading something that they might not have read before and I'm gonna put the book jackets up here uh, for the books that I do the book talk for and then swap them out um, at least once a month if not um, every couple of weeks so it will sort of be interactive in that way and 
it'll be easy for me to change everything out throughout the year. But my one idea that I'm super excited about is right in the center. I'm going to make a gigantic s'more out of cork board and some like um, insulation foam. So I will probably have that in the next vlog. It's going to take me a little while to get that put together. But for now, this is going to be great for open house to get us started. Good morning. It is several days later and so much has happened. Like, I don't even know where to begin, but this school is amazing. I feel like I have hit the jackpot. I'm so happy here. I really resonate with everything that the district and my school believe in um, as far as relationships being like the center of everything that we do um, for kids and I just realized that our school is trying to become a STEM school of distinction, um, which it doesn't necessarily mean that we are solely focused on science and technology, but that's a big part of it. But what it does mean is that my hands-on inquiry-based style of teaching is a perfect fit. So I'm so excited to be, to be here because I feel like the more that everyone shares with me the vision and the mission of the school the more that I understand um, basically like why I was chosen for this position like the more grateful I am to be here and also just that I have to say that everybody is amazing I'm just like floored by the quality of people here like just personally um, their knowledge, like what everybody brings to the table. And I'm just like, so excited to get started. I'm so excited to meet my kids tomorrow. Tomorrow's open house. So a lot has happened since I, um, since I've had meetings, like Monday was convocation for the district. Um, and then Tuesday was all day, like back to school staff meetings. So I'm going to go ahead and take you around my room and show you what I finished because I've gotten quite a lot done since I last vlogged. So I'm starting at the door and I'm just gonna walk you around. Okay, so I have a little cart here. This cart will probably not be here forever, but until I get my tech tables, which I'm gonna try to pick up on Friday, um, this is where my phone is gonna be housed. And so I just have had some little like things in there that I've been using for bulletin boards and stuff. Um, this is actually temporary because as soon as I get my tech tables I will remove this table but this is going to be um, like the project area and right now I need that table there because for open house I'm gonna have things that I need to set out so I went ahead and left it for now this is going to be my um, bulletin board for now that houses um, good student work I might eventually put that in the hallway and do something different over here but that's what I'm gonna do for now. So today I hope that I can have enough time to get up the background um, papers for that for each student, which involves um, laminating and um, printing out some things and I'm not connected to the computer yet. So I have to do that. Um, then I have my 
student desk arrangement. Over here, my closet. I will show you a little bit of my organization strategy. So I have some things that I don't want to get out yet till I have a chance to work on procedures. I'll need to set this up later for the first day, but got like some teacher supplies. I've got extra pencils, um, my, you know, laminating sheets, some page protectors, different things that I'm using. Like that's a calendar for now, extra bulletin board paper, copy paper, um, you know, some games and different things that I'm going to use for students later throughout the year and just general supplies. And then I put things up there that I'm not using right now that we're in the room that we don't want to get rid of. This is all paper. So I have Astro Bright's paper in there. And then that's construction paper, which I might reorganize later, but for now, that's good. Then on the other side, I have my extra, um, ooh, my extra headphones um, in the little plastic containers. And I'll probably get something that has like a, a hook on it that I can hang up there like a plastic bag, but for now they're just in their original packaging. These are empty right now. Um, I am probably gonna stick some things in them later, but I just stuffed them in here for now. And then these are just some cords and, you know, tag things that I might use later. And then I just shoved some things in there that are like for science experiments and stuff that I don't use every day. These are some teaching manuals that I haven't organized yet. And so I just put them in here because, you know, it's almost open house. And that's my document camera, which will be getting set up over there next to my teacher desk um, when I'm for what I'm teaching up there. But we just put it in here now for to keep it safe. And then I have um, just some extra things like the crayons there. And then this is a container that has my posters in it that I created. I gotta find a better way to make that stand up in there, but for now we're just gonna shut the door. I do need to put my clock back up up here. And, ooh. There's a trick to closing those the right way. All right, back here is going to be like my first aid. Um, water bottle storage and just some general like cleaning supplies and tissues and things like that and I'm gonna keep my trays back here that I use for science experiments and messy things this is my calm corner it's only gonna be used um, you know as needed and we have like a school policy for that and then every classroom has this chair and some like the same materials in our baskets that we can use. And then I'm going to also allow students to use this um, for the calm corner if they ask, if they wanna be like kind of like more hidden, but I can still see in and see them from the front and the sides and the top. So I can still monitor them. Student lockers up here, I finished my learning is an adventure. I had to put these up twice because we used glue dots the first time and it didn't stay. For now, my science letters are going over there. And then I just put my um, giraffes from Africa up there. I hung my, um, well, Joe helped me hang my little sun, um, kind of like banner that I had from last year. And then I put my hat that I wore in Africa and a little mustache on my minion to make him look even more fun. This is not totally finished yet. It won't be finished till the first day, but it's good enough for open house, but my gigantic s'more is gonna go in the middle there that I'm gonna make after I have a chance to go to the store and buy a few things. Then I have some storage, birthday and classroom store. And this will eventually be like things that students can use like stem bins or inside recess games. This is my library corner, which is gonna develop as the year goes. But for now, I just have everything kind of just put in here this way. Eventually I might have baskets with genres, but for now, since I did paint my classroom and it took extra time, I just went ahead and set it up like this. So nice little corner here. They can use these cushions and um, because we won't be, 
using these in the front of the room to me as a whole group when students are in the library corner so and I put up these nifty difty um, Val posters that my teamy gave me that he used last year I see that one of my numbers has fallen off my calendar but here's my new calendar that's self-explanatory um, this is still kind of like organization coming a little bit but I put out bins for things that I need some curriculum things that I need when I teach in front of the classroom um, dry erase boards this is my tape I'm gonna use to uh, tape the floor where students need to keep the desks uh, clipboards whiteboards dry erase pockets and some general things like scissors pencils color pencils markers things like that that we're using that students can grab then over here i have my teaching area which this is the part that i still kind of need to clean up a little bit but let me show you the front of it it looks way better than it did i'm really happy with how it's shaping up i do want to get a little wall shelf like a two-tier wall shelf that i can put some decorative things on but for now i have my mixed tiles with family pictures i've got my cute little um, smiley face, my um, iconic painting that I made, and then I have a spot where I'm going to put um, those dry erase pockets, one for each subject to kind of like put my um, standard this, that we're working on, and then I will write up like the I cans for the day since those are going to change more frequently. And then I have storage back here. I have my paper file Monday through Friday and extras and then I have a little plant and some things from my other classroom that just make me happy and then I have this I need to work on but I have some teachers manuals there and then I've got some stuff that just kind of needs to be sorted through and I think I'm gonna have room for it over here I do want to get because this is there's like no rhyme or reason to this right now except that that is my um, filing box for student work when I'm grading. And then this is my like little organization kit of all the little things that I use like staples and um, glue dots and everything. But I'm going to organize this better as the year goes on. But for now it's there and I'm gonna get some mailboxes for over here. I set up my little photo op. So I'll probably clear the top off for open house because I'm going to have some props and people can stand in front of this and take a picture with their kid on open house night and it says your adventure begins here and then I'm going to put up a little um, tissue paper flowers up there and I have a um, below inflatable like I have a third grade balloon a number three balloon that they can hold on to also as well as the props so that's it that is my room you can see it from the front. It looks good. I feel like kids could walk in here if I needed to teach today. I could. So yeah, I just need to get my my pr um, printer connected to my devices so that I can print out things that I need for first day plans. So yeah, it is definitely in much better shape and I'm feeling much better about having people in here um, tomorrow night. So I am still working on organizing my personal things. And today I have a list of some things that I want to do, but I also have some meetings that I have to go to. So made myself a little list of my responsibilities today. I have a 9 a.m. content meeting for language arts teachers in down the hall. I have a 10 a.m. grade level team meeting across the hall and then I'm going to meet with my direct teammate next door to go over some um, things to make sure we're on the same page for the first week of school. Then I have lunch. At two o'clock, I'm going to an IEP review. And then these are the things that I wanna to try to get done. I wanna stuff folders for open house, get my phone connected to the Wi-Fi. There's an authentication that I need to do online for Google. Um, I want to put these seat tags out where my students are gonna sit. And I have some data now, so I'm gonna use that to help me group students, um, you know, in 
mixed ability groupings to the best of my ability and then we'll move kids around as we need to. But I'm gonna put these out. These are actually the locker tags. So I need to um, write out the desk tags for students, but I'm going to put these out and students are going to, at open house, get to pick their locker. So that's something little that they can choose and that way I won't have any short kids at like higher up lockers and things like that. And then I want to print out my class list and my class schedule and post it. I want to update my scavenger hunt and print it out for open house. And then, what was this? This is for open house. I need to decide what are going to be the extra supplies that I'm gonna collect at open house and which ones I'm gonna let students keep individually. And that's kind of a conversation I'm gonna have with my teammates, so I won't know until after that, kind of how I'm gonna do my supplies this year. I want to put up my, you know, papers for hanging good work. And then I want to go through some of these like little teacher piles back here, because I've got stuff. Oh, and I, I need to sort goodie bags for the first day too. But I've just got little piles back here. It looks way better than it did. Like this stuff is gonna come out, it won't be all like that. But um, just because my storage is different than it was last year, I'm having to kind of adjust. I did pick this up from the giveaway pile. Um, it needs cleaned a little bit, but it is nice for the fact that I don't yet have like a, you know, drawer organizer for my desk. So that's nice that I can put a few things in there, but I think most of the rest of this stuff that's back here is gonna end up going over there. And I am going to pick up matching um, like canvas bins to make that look a little bit better over there, um, but that won't be until this weekend, so. It's coming along, I'm really happy with how my room is turning out. It's feeling like me, it's feeling like home and like more organized so that, you know, my brain doesn't feel so cluttered. I'm very much a product of my environment and if my environment is out of whack, then I'm kind of like, it's hard for me to focus. So really glad that I'm getting everything organized and my um, direct teammate, he was like, I didn't know if you were gonna be able to put all that stuff away in here, but it just kind of went loop and we zipped it all in. And I was like, yep, because honestly, I had been through a lot of my stuff already several times and had been purging like since last year, knowing that I was gonna be moving. And so the things that I brought, although I had quite a bit of things, were all pretty much things that I knew I was going to use. Um, and if I don't use them like this year, then they're gonna go, so anyway. So I think I'm going to go ahead and um, start working on some of these to-do items, especially my tech stuff, so that it won't be hard for me to get um, everything printed out later on. So I'm gonna end the vlog here, but in the next vlog, I show you how I got ready for open house, and then I'll come back and kind of give you a recap because that is tomorrow. So thanks for hanging in here till the end of the vlog. I appreciate all of you. I'm so thankful for the opportunity to be able to be online and have this community. So thanks for listening in. Wherever you're at, don't forget to work hard, be kind, and amazing things will happen. Bye.